Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Three Pound Fishing. Um, we're starting the day off with a, uh, a double jig setup. I showed this in another episode. Uh, I'm going to show it to you right off the bat here. Feed your braid through the, your jig. And again, I go straight to the jig with braid. And uh, I'm positioning this as far up the line as I want just to give myself a long leader to work with below it. And this is my standard loop knot right there. That's pretty perfect right there. Okay, it'll tighten up right there. And then I put my primary jig, the jig that I'm really the most excited about at the bottom. And uh, basically my always goal with these is about 18 inches, 12 to 18 inches, it really doesn't matter. But I don't like to get them too close because I really want them to kind of be viewed as separate um, jigs in the water. So, you know, you get them too close and I just wonder if that affects the bite. All right, so when you get your next jig, again, you feed it through, and we're going to do another loop down, loop knot down here at the bottom. And, of course, the focus here is how far are we keeping it away from that other jig. There you go. So right now I'm deciding where I want it to be, which is about right there. Twirl it around, feed it right back through the hole. So essentially all I'm doing is just two loop knots, whatever style you use and the way you tie it. And there's my, my double jig setup right there. And welcome to Three Pound Fishing on Crab Orchard. We are here doing another episode. Fishing has been incredible. Stained water, bright and crazy colors. Thanks for joining me. I appreciate it. Let's do this. Thanks for watching Three Pound Fishing. Partnered up with these fantastic companies. Hey guys, I appreciate you guys watching Three Pound Fishing. Man, this is a great time of year, no doubt about it. Stay to the end. The best catch on this episode is at the end. <laughs> Good fish on Crab Orchard. Man, they're loving that color. Good night. I can't believe what that is. Right there. Look at that fish. Solid fish. Solid, solid fish. A lot of times I don't think you need a double double jig setup because you know 80% of the time they're gonna be biting that bottom jig. Honestly. And you also get tangled in your shirt like I just did, which is not a fun thing to do. That when you get a nice shirt. Just great fish on crab orchard. You know, every fishery is probably, I mean, to be fair, every fishery is going to be having good fish right now. It's fall. It doesn't get much better than that. Right before winter time, baby, it doesn't get any better right there. <laughs> check. Ah, check this out folks that is a big good fish crab orchard fish right there solid white and all we're doing is bringing it rub it right against the the ground down there coming out of nowhere coming out of nowhere it's unbelievable great fishing today man great fishing experience it's not every time you come back to your home lake and i would consider crab orchard my home lake you don't it um you don't always get you know it's not always the same right so now we got this new technology i mean it's been a long time since i've been back here now i've, I've been back with live scope before but all i'm doing is going back to my old spots and some are hot and some are not but uh Beautiful day out here right now. Bluebird, water temperature is roughly 58 degrees. And these fish just seem to be just about everywhere, but structure is definitely a, structure is the key. And then finding them in the dirt right now, I'm finding them right in the surface. Good fish here, folks. Mm. 
That is a good fish. Man, that is a lot of fun. I just switched up locations and went to steak beds again. And that guy was just sitting there. Well, I do want to make mention of one thing. You know, at the beginning of this episode, we started off by showing a, what a double jig setup is. And I have not gotten bit one time on that higher jig. Like I said, usually majority of them are going to always bite on that bottom jig anyway. So if this was, you know, a tournament setting right now, I'd probably eliminate that second jig altogether because it can just be a distraction. Um, I would just add a supplement the split shot that I want. Because I don't think you'd want it there if it wasn't doing you any good. Now you could, you certainly could try another jig out and see if another one has better success. But honestly, since this jig is doing so well, the one that I'm using, I don't think I would be doing that. If I was in a tournament, I'd just focus in on that one. Yeah, just hammering these fish all over the place, man. I don't know. This is just a, uh, a very positive experience. Look at this. There. These guys are just on the bottom. Kind of grouped. Right there is where I'm at, right on the bottom now, and they're just they're just hanging out. They're not. Not doing anything special, but let me see if I can show this to you. There I am, right there. Look at those guys, right there. That's the perfect picture. There he is. Big. Look at this pig. This guy came off the bottom. Could be the biggest fish of the day. That was a freaking hammer. Absolute hammer. Thanks for watching, guys. Please subscribe. Thanks for watching 3 Pound Fishing. Partnered up with these fantastic companies.